And it feels like the middle of August out there. Typical for this time of year. A live look outside on our Virginia Tech cam. Some of those cumulus clouds overhead, but nothing falling from those clouds just yet. Temperatures, we're at 82 in Blacksburg, 78 in Hillsville. Good afternoon. Smith Mountain Lake already at 87 degrees, 88 South Boston, and the number here at noon in Roanoke at 87 degrees. But you factor in the dew points, which are well into the mid 70s here for Danville and South Boston, 70 degrees in Roanoke. It's truly tropical out there, and you get what it feels like where the heat index. It feels like close to 100 degrees in Smith Mountain Lake, mid to upper 90s in South Side. Feels like 92 in Roanoke. Oak mid 80s for Blacksburg, so definitely take it easy out there this afternoon. Satellite radar, there's a warm front just off to our north and a cold front to our west, and this cold front is going to continue to progress eastbound and arrive here by tomorrow afternoon. But ahead of it, we still have enough lift in the atmosphere to provide a chance of a pop up shower storm here or there this afternoon. So future tracker at two o'clock today, maybe we pop up a shower or storm along the Blue Ridge, but notice a little bit more widespread here for that evening commute. So make sure you have that umbrella handy. Also, maybe be a little bit slow here for the evening rush advancing towards 8 p.m. Some of those storms could be hefty at times as we go east of the Blue Ridge, but notice as we get towards the 11 o'clock hour, everything starts to pull away. We clear the skies out some patchy fog tonight. Tomorrow morning, once that fog does break up, we're looking at another chance for those showers and pop up storms as that cold front sweeps on through a region by 7 p.m. Notice still the chance of some lingering storms before that system pulls to our east and the weekend is looking nice. So for today, mostly sunny, scattered afternoon showers and storms, 88 in Lynchburg, 88 in Roanoke, nearing 90 for south side, 85 in Blacksburg and 78 in Hot Springs. Remember, it does feel much hotter than this. By the way, the tropics are really starting to heat up here as we go towards the peak hurt hurricane season. Potential tropical cyclone number nine now has formed to the east of the Lesser Antilles and it's pretty well organized. It does have some wind shear, meaning some of the thunderstorms are being blown off from the center of circulation, but nonetheless, this system will likely gather strength as it moves westbound. As of 11 o'clock, winds are at 35 miles per hour, gusts up to 45 miles per hour and booking it to the west at 17 miles per hour. And the official track from the National Hurricane Center takes it through the Lesser Antilles and pushes it all the way back towards the Yucatan Peninsula as they go into our Tuesday next week as a Category 1 hurricane. So still a lot of time to watch this, but this does not look like it will impact the United States. So for tonight, thunderstorms come to an end. We are muggy out there. Lower 70s, upper 60s with some of the patchy fog around. Here's your extended forecast. 88 degrees for today. 90 tomorrow with a chance of more storms around. But the weekend, we're looking good. Lots of sun, upper 80s, still a little humid. And for the eclipse on our Monday, Partly cloudy skies, it is looking pretty good. Temperatures though, hot around 90 degrees and more showers and storms pop up once again towards Tuesday and Wednesday. And our highs still right around 90, so making up for some lost time as we had 70s and 80s for the past few weeks. It's going to feel like August here yeah. for the next week or so. And that Monday, that's the forecast people are really looking forward mm -hmm. to, want to know about. So some good news there, hopefully. Yeah, it is looking like we'll see some clouds, but it doesn't look like a completely overcast day. So right mm -hmm. now looking good. All right, well, thank you so much. Sure.